So this is the scap assist test. This is something that you can do while you're doing your active ranges of motion of the shoulder. And as we do our observation, maybe this is something that you notice as he's either reaching up into flexion or abduction, you notice that the scapula doesn't upwardly rotate much and he might be having like an arc of pain experience at his shoulder. So Dr. Diaz, I'm gonna have you go first into flexion, just with the right arm, and let's say about halfway he feels pain. Then you can say something like, okay, well, I notice your shoulder blade isn't moving too much in an upward motion. I'm gonna see if I try to help it and see if it changes your symptoms. So my hands, really my, let's say my right hand is gonna be just in a V position. My thumb is gonna be along the medial border. And then my web space will be along the inferior angle. And then my fingers are just gonna cup the lateral border of the scap. My left hand is, my fingers are just along the upper trap, just to provide some counter force. Reach up again. And then as he reaches up, I'm just trying to facilitate that upward rotation and see if it changes symptoms. And he says, yeah, that feels a little bit better. Then we know the scap is playing a role into the pain. And then this is where we'll likely have to check the strength of the middle trap, lower trap, and perhaps serratus too, to see if there's any weakness that's contributing to that lack of that upward rotation. And similarly, so you can do this into abduction as well. A similar hand hold, just a different position of the arm into abduction instead of flexion.